Mr. Didart? Um, I must admit that you know the scriptures very well, but you don't understand them. Um, shh. Mr. Dira, um, I don't um, proclaim to have to answer your questions, but I would like you to explain two questions. Uh, I'd like you to explain two issues, you know, to me. And that is the first one. When Peter walked on the water to Jesus, um, then he, he sunk into the water. Jesus stooped down to help him. And then when they both got into the both, according to the Bible, it says that they worshipped him in categorical English. You, on previous lectures recently, said and explained it away that uh, Thomas um, exclaimed, Oh, my Lord and my God, in a way of uh, getting a fright. But in a case like that, I'm sure that Jesus would have rebuked him, knowing the law of the commandments, don't take the name of your God in vain, because that would be clearly taking God's name in vain. Would you kindly just explain it to me? There was nothing about Peter, Peter worshipping Jesus. You see, this worship, this word worship, you open your new Bible now, new Bible, you'll find a different word for worship. You open the RSV, you find a different word for worship. You see? Right, but what, what, what are the alternative, what are the synonyms used for worship? And everyone is worship. Right. Now, now to the Jew, if the Jew worshipped Jesus, you see, that means all the disciples were worshipping him. If Peter worshipped him, then all the other disciples likewise must be worshipping him because Peter was the leader of the disciples. But we find nowhere the disciples ever prostrating before Jesus at any time. The eleven or the twelve worshipping him. Worshipping him means that you are our God. You see, this word worship, you ask the Roman Catholic. Look, they ha have a good knowledge of the scriptures. You know, they claim an unbroken chain of popes from first Peter to today. Now you ask them how many types of worships are there? And they'll tell you there are three different types of worship. Right? You say about your sweetheart, your fiancé, I worship her. But when you say you worship her, you mean you love her extremely, you know, beyond measure. But you're not taking her for a goddess. Look, this is an expression we use commonly. It says, you, you know, you're worshipping the guy. You, it says, money my God, woman my guide, says the Frenchman. We say you are worshipping money, you're worshipping women. But you don't say, money is my God, or you don't say, woman is my God. But you use the word worship. Worship is an extreme form of love. He must have been very much humiliated. And, you know, in lovingness, he must have embraced a man, which, according to your King James Version, has used the word worship. But now, if he was worshipped as God, that would be something. He said, no, look, he is our God. Then he must say so. Then he said, look, they were all worshipping him. But at no time do we hear that they ever worshipped him as a people instead of worshipping God. He's telling you, come worship God, the Father in heaven. He's the only God. He's the real God. No time did he say, I am God, worship me. Did he? At any time, if he said, look, I am God. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, yes, you can answer that. If he said, no, no, if he said, I am God, this is the claim I made, I think, No good, no good. You see, the, I, I made a claim, very simple, straightforward. If you can show me in your Bible any version where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. Simple English I'm speaking. Where he says, I am God, I said, I'm prepared to accept him as God. If he says, worship me, I'm prepared to worship him. He must say, not Peter, not James, not Paul. He must say, I am God. He must say, worship me. Because if he is God, my salvation depends upon that. And I don't want to go to hell. I want to follow him. Now that is just, may I interject you there? That's the very point of issue there. Now, you are describing mannerisms of worshipping where the Bible doesn't um, elaborate on it all. Jesus but, does. But the fact remains is, the, uh, uh, the, di the disciples worshipped him in the boat. And he allowed it. No, no. And that's Jesus, all it says. Jesus, Jesus showed you how to worship. In the Garden of Gethsemane, if 
you remember, he said he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed to God. Yes, Didn't he? I set you an example. With respect, is, uh, you are reading an, uh, uh, words into the Bible. You, you find that verse in Matthews. And he went a little further. Oh, except the fact that he, 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 he dropped down on his face right. and so on. So, so but that, mean, uh, that makes no eyes. The fact remains the Jews, his disciples the Jews. didn't worship him. No, no, how did the Jews worship? Look, if you want to know the Muslims how they worship, you go to the mosque. Go to the mosque and see how they worship. You see, Sallallahu Akbar, they stand, they read chapters and verses, they go into semi-bent position, they get up, they go down to the ground, touching the forehead onto the earth. This is how the Muslims worship, right? So if I said, look, this chairman or the people worship Didat, meaning that they, man, they loved him with exceeding love. Right. That, but now you say worship. Now, the, if the people have a wrong idea, they say, look, what did they do? Did they make ablution and come? And did they fall down prostrate before Mr. Didat? He says, no. He says, what do you mean they worshipped him? He said, no, no, no. Oh, man, you know, they were gone mad after him. Now, that's quite a different thing. You say, now you are using a word and you are explaining something else figuratively. But that's exactly so, what you are doing now. Huh? No, I'm not doing that. Jesus Christ and all the prophets, they had a form of worship, the Jews, which you are not following, you don't know. Look, and Abraham fell on his face and prayed to God. And Moses and Aaron fell on their faces and prayed to God. And Joshua fell on his face and prayed to God. And Jesus fell on his face and prayed to God. Look, everybody falling on their faces and praying. What is this? This is the way you worship God. Fall on your face and pray. The Pope, wherever he goes, he kisses the ground. He makes the prostration, as the Muslim does. See, he's maybe, I don't know, he's communing with the soil or what, I don't know. But he's doing exactly as a Muslim does. He, then you might say he's worshipping the ground. He goes to Nigeria, he worships the ground there. He goes to Poland, he worships the ground there. No, he's not worshipping. There is. He's showing some kind of humility, respect, maybe. But now, Moses, this is how he did it. Jesus did it. Abraham did it. Joshua did it. But you don't do it. So you have your own idea about worship. والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله